Hi, my name is Jyoti and today we're going to make Indian curry. It's a simple gravy dish which you could use it in vegetables or chicken dish. Let's get started. You'll need oil, canola oil we're using, butter, bay leaf and pepper, red pepper, dry peppers, um, dry methi leaves, here we have ginger and garlic paste, about three spoons of it. Turmeric, and we have coriander and cumin powder, cayenne pepper, salt, and three cups of tomato puree. Okay, let's get started. We have a pan, we're going to put about one tablespoon of butter in it. Around there we're going to put a little oil so it doesn't burn the butter. We're going to let it heat up a little bit. You can see it's getting nice and warm. So now I'm going to crush some um, dry methi leaves here. I like the aroma that brings the dry methi leaves in there. I'm going to put some bay leaf and the peppers in there. You can see. Now we're going to put the ginger and garlic paste in it. We're going to cook it so all the rawness of the garlic and ginger is gone. Takes about a minute or so for that to happen. And you can really smell the garlic at this time. Okay, it has been about one to two minutes. It seems like it's just cooked well. So now we're going to put a spoonful of turmeric in there, a little pepper for taste, um, your coriander and cumin powder. We're going to cook that. Just stir that up a little. You can see it gets a little hard to do that. Um, put the tomato puree in. Stir it well. It gets a little bit water in the pan, in the bowl to rinse it out. Put a little water because the water is going to burn out on the sauce. So we're gonna we're gonna keep stirring this. Give it about four to five minutes. Let it all come together. We didn't add salt yet. It's about three minutes, and you can see it's getting thick. We're going to add a little bit more water to this because it evaporates really quick with it when you have your gas high. We're going to keep it going high for a few more minutes. It's about five minutes and you could see a lot of bubbles going on over here. The gravy is getting thicker the water is being evaporated. So now what we're going to do is add a little salt for taste. I don't like to add too much because it's already and at this time if you like you could even add sugar. Some people add sugar to it. So what we're going to do is just taste it a little bit. Mmm.
it's good. At this time, if you need more peppers, you could add peppers or so. Our gravy's done. What we're going to do is add more dry methi leaves, which I love in here. has a nice aroma to it, too. So, so I added with the oil at the beginning and then at the final stage. So our gravy's done. Now we could turn off our gas and let it cool. You could put it in a container or at this time you could put vegetables or chicken added to it and your dish is done. Enjoy. Thank you for watching.